Sonic Spinball from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Recorded on May 30th, 2019. Section 1, Plot. Section 2, Gameplay. Section 3, Development. Section 4, Reception. Section 5, Legacy. Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball, commonly abbreviated to Sonic Spinball, is a 1993 pinball video game developed by Sega Technical Institute and published by Sega. It is a spin-off of the Sonic the Hedgehog series set in the universe of the animated series Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Players control Sonic the Hedgehog, who must stop Dr. Robotnik from enslaving the population in a giant pinball-like mechanism. The game is set in a series of pinball machine-like environments, and Sonic acts as a pinball for the majority of the game. Sonic Spinball was developed by the American staff of the Sega Technical Institute, as the Japanese staff was occupied with developing Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. When Sega management realized that Sonic 3 would not be completed in time for the 1993 holiday shopping season, they commissioned another Sonic game. The game was hastily designed amid time constraints, with most work taking place over two months. Sonic Spinball was released for the Sega Genesis in November 1993 and for the Game Gear and Master System in 1994 and 1995 respectively. Sonic Spinball received mixed reviews, with critics praising the novelty and graphics, but criticizing the controls. A second pinball game, Sonic Pinball Party, was released in 2003, and the Sonic Spinball Spinning Roller Coaster opened in the Alton Towers theme park in 2010. Spinball has been ported to various consoles and included in Sega compilations. Section 1 Plot Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball is one of the few games in the Sonic franchise set in the universe of the animated series Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. The evil scientist Dr. Robotnik has built a large fortress on top of a volcano for the purposes of transforming the animals of planet Mobius into robot slaves. The magma within the volcano fuels both the fortress and the pinball machine-like defense systems that act as fortifications. The volcano is kept in stable condition by a series of chaos emeralds. In response, Sonic the Hedgehog and his friend Tails mount an aerial assault on the fortress only to be ambushed by the fortress's cannons. Sonic is knocked into the deep waters that surround the volcano, but manages to avoid drowning and surfaces in the caves below the fortress. From there, Sonic infiltrates the fortress's defenses, absconds with the Chaos Emeralds, and frees the animals of Mobius. In the absence of the Chaos Emeralds, a massive eruption begins to destroy the fortress. While Robotnik makes an escape attempt on a massive airship, Sonic pursues him and manages to destroy the aircraft, resulting in the pair plummeting to the volcano below. Tails manages to rescue Sonic just in time, while Robotnik falls into the volcano, which sinks into the ocean and explodes. Section 2. Gameplay Sonic Spinball is a pinball game in which players control Sonic the Hedgehog, who acts as the pinball. The majority of the game takes place within the pinball defense system, which resembles a series of large pinball machines. The game comprises four levels, each containing numerous flippers that can be used to aim Sonic's trajectory and launch him through the level. Sonic can be maneuvered while airborne with input from the directional pad, which can be used for better positioning, allowing an impact with a bumper or target, or when Sonic is descending toward the drain, bumpers or flippers. The goal of each level is to collect all of the Chaos Emeralds and subsequently defeat the newly accessible boss located at the top of the level. Some Chaos Emeralds are blocked off by obstacles that require Sonic to hit certain switches or bumpers in order to create a clear path. 
The boss at the top of each level requires a specific strategy to defeat. A status strip at the top of the screen provides hints for defeating bosses as well as encouraging messages when the player makes progress. The strip also tells the player how many Chaos Emeralds are left to collect in a level. Following the defeat of an enemy boss, a bonus round is initiated. These rounds are shown as Sonic playing a regular pinball machine. The player is given three balls to shoot around the board, the object being to accumulate points by hitting as many bumpers and targets as possible. At any point in the bonus round, the player may trigger a tilt shake that rattles the table and affects the ball's trajectory. If the tilt shake is used too often, however, all flippers will lock out, leaving the ball to fall down the drain. When the goal of the bonus round is fulfilled, or if all three balls fall through the flippers, the bonus round will end, and the next level will commence. When all the game's Chaos Emeralds are collected, and all four boss enemies are defeated, the player wins. Sonic starts the game with three lives. A life is lost when Sonic falls through the drain. An extra life can be earned by accumulating 20 million points, which can be accumulated by hitting bumpers, navigating through loops, collecting rings, and destroying enemy characters. There is a screenshot in this section with the caption, At the top, the interface displays the player's number of lives and total score. In the game, Sonic the Hedgehog acts as a pinball. Section 3. Development Sonic Spinball was developed by mostly American staff from Sega Technical Institute, while the Japanese staff were producing Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, then conceptualized as a single game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was credited with boosting sales of the Sega Genesis in the 1992 holiday shopping season. Sega of America's management realized that the next Sonic the Hedgehog title would not be ready until next year and commissioned another game that could be completed in time for the 1993 holiday season. Sega's research team suggested that the Casino Night Zone of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was among the most popular levels in the game. This provided Peter Morawick, the game's designer, with a general direction of the upcoming game. With an idea established, the developers envisioned a way of extracting the enjoyable aspects of this single level and expanding on them broadly enough to form a concept around which an entire game could be based. Morwick drew inspiration from Pinball Dreams, a game released for the Amiga in 1992, to combine pinball mechanics with the gameplay of Sonic the Hedgehog. Collaborating with three colleagues, Morwick designed basic animations depicting Sonic as a pinball. The animations were demonstrated to Sega's senior management, who approved the project. The development team knew that the game would have to be completed in under a year to be ready in time for the 1993 holiday season, a schedule Morwick considered tight for a game which needed to capitalize on the series newfound popularity in North America. In order to speed up production, Sega sent veteran staff from Japan to assist in development, including regular Sonic the Hedgehog artist Katsuhiko Sato. Despite the transfer of these staff, the game was still not predicted to be complete in time. As a result, Sega Technical Institute staff decided to change the game's programming language from assembly to C an unusual choice for Genesis games at the time. In retrospect, Morawick admitted that the choice to move away from traditional assembly language caused frame rate and optimization issues, but greatly accelerated the development process. In the space of 61 days between mid-June and August 1993, the project evolved from being a roughly playable build with no collision detection systems or character animations to a fully completed game. Immediately before the game was due to ship, the team was informed that Sega did not own the rights of the Sonic the Hedgehog theme tune. Morawick recalled that there was an uproar among the team after Hirokazu Yasuhara 
the lead designer on Sonic Team, explained that the theme tune was owned by Japanese band Dreams Come True. As a result, Morawick tasked the team's lead composer, Howard Drossen, to create a new theme within approximately two hours. Section 3.1 Release Morawick believed that the game would face acceptance challenges from both fans and the gaming media, as Sonic the Hedgehog pinball strayed from the traditional platforming genre. After returning home to the United States from Europe, Morawick was surprised to find that the game had sold well and was pleased that it benefited from the franchise's popularity. Nonetheless, he regretted that the team had lacked time to polish the game properly. After the Game Gear title Sonic Drift received poor reviews in Japan, Sega released an 8-bit port of Sonic Spinball for the Game Gear in its place worldwide in late 1994. It was also released for the Master System in Brazil and Europe in 1995. The 8-bit version is mostly identical to the Genesis game, albeit with downgraded visuals and different, more platform-oriented bonus stages. The Master System version was released near the end of the console's lifetime and did not sell well, and became a valuable collector's item. The game has been released on 11 different platforms. The Sega Genesis version of the game has been re-released on the Sonic Mega Collection compilation for the Nintendo GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PCs. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and multiple iterations of the Sega Smash Pack series of compilations. The Game Gear version appeared as an unlockable game in Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut for the GameCube and PC, as well as Sonic Gems Collection for the GameCube and PlayStation 2. The game was intended to be included in the Sonic Classic Collection for the Nintendo DS, but was cut for unspecified reasons. The Genesis version was released on the Wii's Virtual Console on March 12, 2007 in North America and April 5, 2007 in Europe. An emulated form of the game was also made available for iOS devices via Apple's App Store in 2010, but was later removed along with other Sega games in 2015. On September 13, 2010, it was released on Steam. Section 4. Reception Sonic Spinball received mixed reviews. It holds an average score of 61% at game rankings, based on an aggregate score of 6 reviews. The visuals were generally well received. A reviewer from Electronic Gaming Monthly thought that the game being set inside of a pinball machine was a novel idea and also labeled the game's visuals, music, and sound effects as top-notch. In the same review, another reviewer opined that the graphics were not as sharp as other Sonic the Hedgehog titles, and also thought the sound was unimpressive. In a retrospective review, Lucas Thomas from IGN felt that the game's graphics matched those of later Sonic games on the Genesis, and considered Spinball's minigames to be visually distinct and well done. A reviewer from Juvideo.com thought the graphics were generally good, but indicated that there were other visually superior games for the Genesis. In similar vein, William Avery of GameSpot noticed that the game contained some slowdown. Eurogamer's Dan Whitehead criticized the game's sluggish frame rate and slowdown that occurred when things threatened to get hectic in-game, noting that it suffered from the old Mega Drive problem. Various aspects of the gameplay garnered a mixed reception from critics, though the game's control scheme received the most criticism. A reviewer from GamePro criticized the control configuration and felt that the game was a mediocre example of a pinball game, but admitted that it had a similar feel to previous Sonic the Hedgehog titles. Zhuvideo.com's reviewer enjoyed how Sonic himself 
acted as a pinball, but noticed that the controls were less precise and responsive when compared to other platformers. Dan Whitehead asserted that the game's controls were muddled by the half-and-half -half approach and criticized its clunky game engine, saying that the game's control scheme ruined the pinball environments. Thomas stated, There are aspects of the control that could have been tighter, and its difficulty level may be a bit too extreme for new players. Damien McFarren from Nintendo Life said that the game comes across as both a poor platformer and a poor pinball game due to its unconvincing ball physics and frustrating platform elements. Bob Strauss of Entertainment Weekly felt that the game initially boasted a terrific concept, but had an ultimately flawed execution, saying that Sonic, acting as a pinball, often moved like a leaden marble. Rich Ledbetter from Mean Machines also expressed concern over the game's lack of replay value, saying that despite its addictive gameplay, the game's four levels were not enough, especially given its high price. Section 5. Legacy A second pinball game in the series, Sonic Pinball Party, was released for the Game Boy Advance in 2003 to generally favorable reviews. In 2010, a spinning roller coaster, Sonic Spinball, opened in the Alton Towers theme park in Stratfordshire. Although the roller coaster was not originally designed with a Sonic the Hedgehog theme, the ride became part of a sponsorship deal between Sega and Alton Towers. A Sonic the Hedgehog themed hotel room was later made available at Alton Towers Hotel, which featured various playable Sonic the Hedgehog games as well as wallpaper based on Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 1. For all 46 references and the bibliography, please check the article and Wikipedia at en wikipedia.org this sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the creative commons attribution share alike license available at creativecommons.org